Hello, I'm Dr. Maury Gertz. I'm the Roland Seidler Professor of Medicine and Chairman of the Department of Medicine at Mayo Clinic Rochester, and I'm a senior member of the Amyloidosis Treatment Center team. Mutant TTR amyloidosis, also known as transthyretin amyloidosis or familial amyloidosis, occasionally as familial amyloid cardiomyopathy or familial amyloid peripheral neuropathy, is a disorder where protein builds up in your system. All the proteins in your body are biodegradable and recyclable. But for those of you that inherit a gene that results in an abnormal TTR or transthyretin molecule, your body loses the ability to break these proteins down. As a consequence, they accumulate and ultimately deposit in the heart or in the nerve typically and begin to interfere with the function of those organs. Because there is no one specific blood, urine test, or x-ray, the diagnosis can be difficult and is often delayed for a period of years. Only half of the patients that we see actually have a positive family history, even though this disorder is consistently inherited from one parent and the risk of involvement of siblings or children is approximately 50%. Patients can develop predominant heart involvement, predominant nerve involvement, or a mixture. When the nerve is involved, it can cause pain and numbness in the hands and in the feet. Sometimes it can cause problems with emptying of the bladder or the bowel or blood pressure problems. When the heart becomes involved, the heart function loses its efficiency and its ability to pump blood to the vital organs of your body is compromised. And as a consequence, we'll see problems with progressive fatigue, shortness of breath, fluid retention, a decline in blood pressure over time. What distinguishes Mayo in the treatment of amyloidosis is the fact that we are a highly integrated system so that we not only have specialists in the treatment of amyloid, we have heart experts that specialize in the management of amyloid, nerve experts that treat amyloid, a medical genetics program that has a deep understanding of amyloid. The treatment of amyloid oftentimes involves the use of investigational medications. And because Mayo is so large with such a large amyloid population, we have access to new medications available for the treatment of amyloid that are neither commercially available or available in the community. In addition, some patients with TTR amyloidosis are best served with organ transplantation. We have one of the largest liver transplant and heart transplant programs in the United States that has direct experience in the complex management should transplantation be the appropriate option for TTR amyloidosis. We've pioneered some of the measures to establish the diagnosis, evaluate patients serially, and provide counseling for you and your loved ones regarding the risks, the expected outcomes, as well as your prognosis. We've also led in the enrollment of patients in clinical trials that allow you to participate in new treatments that are not available to other patients with amyloidosis, where the goal is to stop the production of the abnormal protein that is not biodegradable and is ultimately deposited in the organs of your body. Mayo Clinic has been known for many years as a destination center for compassionate care, but we particularly excel because of the integrated nature of our amyloidosis program. And we believe we provide education, appropriate therapies, and diagnosis for those patients in need of care for this problem. Thank you. And if you would like any additional information regarding TTR amyloidosis, 
Information is provided for you at the bottom of the screen with both phone numbers and web links.